Hey everyone, this is G from Finland. Uh, today we are having a pretty wet, rainy day, but somehow it really feels like a nice spring day, even though it's a little bit chilly. After all night of rain, the air feels really nice and clean, and I think the rain is actually helping the grass and all the plants to grow. I can really see that things are coming along, uh, becoming very green around. Now entering the spring and now waiting for the summer, uh, the days here in Finland are very long. The sun rises very early before, before I wake up and the sun sets closer to like 11. So it's really nice to do a lot of outdoor works. Uh, one of the recent projects of ours was uh, to tap the birch trees to get the birch sap. So we finally started it a few days ago. Around our house we have a lot of trees and mostly they are spruce and pine and a lot of gataya trees but we also have quite a few nice old birch trees uh, so at the beginning of the spring before they start to grow their leaves we can actually tap these water and pretty much share <laughs> It's been really special experience and I really really like the taste of these birch sap. So basically we chose birch trees that are, are nice and old enough so that um, us taking a little bit of the sap from them wouldn't really affect them. So I will quickly show you the birch trees that we have around here and also some footages that I have taken over the few days tapping and drinking birch sap. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So there's our house. And currently we are tapping from that tree. Uh, I don't know how old it is, but it looks quite old. You can see all kind of things are growing. I love all the textures. I love the, the shape of tree barks. There are usually quite many ants um, climbing this tree. And it's really funny because they're not the best climber and they will just kind of like fall on you. Oh, hi! What you doing? Isn't it nice to be out? Here's another birch trees. Two trees, one tree, I'm not really sure. They grew really close to each other, so we have two of these growing. These are, these must be also really old. Hey! Hi. You collected some weed? The Finnish farmer fashion. <laughs> this jacket used to belong to Mikko's grandfather. This is like the most common fashion around here. Like everyone has one of these. <laughs> yeah, even the kids. Even the kids. <laughs> Pretty nice. I That's did. a lot of weed. These are mostly dandelions. They just spread um, really fast. So Miko's been digging them up and gonna take them away. Here we have another birch tree. This one's also looking pretty nice. I just love how these branches look. Okay, let's try it. I think I'm thinking to go in from here. Okay. Oh, it's coming. Comes the water. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it works. Nice and cool. Tastes like forest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it worked. <laughs> Although at this rate it's gonna take forever to fill the bottle. <laughs> it will but but we'll leave it overnight. Yeah.
Hopefully, this became our tapping tree now. This is our tapping tree. Mm. We'll get to taste some birch sap uh -huh. in the morning. Uh -huh. All right, let's see how much how much birch sap that we that we collected uh -huh. for 24 hours. Yeah, about about, about 24 hours. Yeah. Um, really excited to try them. It's pretty, it's pretty chilly now. <laughs> oh Apparently, the God. ants love the tree sap also. They are. They're a little cleaner. Yeah. They're not getting as much. Thank God that we put some protection. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, no, there is something There's in there. There's one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my God. So messy. I, think, I don't know. Do, do they maybe do they get drunk off of it? Because, because they're <laughs> they're walking really funny. <laughs> so <laughs> so the plan is we are going to strain this through the strainer into this nice clear bottle because um, a few ants managed to get in. We don't want to drink that. <laughs> So this is our setup currently. We were first using a uh, tiny plastic straw, but they were actually very fragile and they were just breaking. But we, we found this really nice um, tube from the garage. Um, so we are now using that. And what's really important is that if you leave the hole, if you make the hole, the, the sap will continuously flow. So it's very important to block the hole with wood or wax so that they don't bleed to death. So here we had another hole, but we, Miko this morning, blocked it with this piece of wood because we were getting definitely enough sap for us from this one tube, this one hole. It's the weekend and I came downstairs to this beautiful breakfast table. So we have some Finnish Karelian pies filled with rice, slices of cucumber, and which tea do we have today? Tiger's Daydream. Tiger's Daydream. Tea getting baiva uni tea and my full glass of birch sap. <laughs> thanks, thanks for breakfast. Of course. This is so nice. I love weekends. Mm -hmm.